a very happy morning to one and all now i take this opportunity to introduce the patron and our beloved principal sir dr p santosh kumar patra a great principal builds character inspires dreams encourages creativity builds confidence instills a lot of learning and changes our lives forever these are the qualities that exactly define our principal sir our principal dr p santosh kumar sir holds a be mtech and phd degree in computer science and engineering and for more than 18 years sir has been an active academician and educational administrator his area of interest include artificial intelligence software engineering data mining and warehousing and wireless networks sir has been honored with governor award thrice rashtriya gaurav award rashtriya vikas ratan award dronacharya award and young leader by ibae dubai uh 18 books 138 newspaper coverages and more than 88 international papers including scopus and sca recently he has been honored as an advisor to nac bangalore ugc paramash national cyber safety and security standards government of india sir has been in the editorial board of many publications like tata magra hill high tech publications charulata publications etc under sir's excellency as the principal with his leadership college has achieved many heights like nac a plus ugc autonomous nir ranking nba accredited received ugc paramash career 360 certified as a a plus competition success review ranked in top 3 and wikipedia ranked second in telangana and under sir leadership smec is honored with glorious governor award thrice Sir has maintained the highest amount of consultancy and industry sponsored projects in Telangana state with an amount of rupees 444 crore from GHMC rupees 150 crore from HMW SSB Hyderabad Sir has also received 96 lakhs from DST IIT Bombay and AICT Recently rupees 17 lakh funding from AICT has also been received and sir has been rupees 31 lakh from UGC as a paramash Not only these, students' placement reached more than 98 percent, along with high pay packages like 27 and 28 lakhs under sir supervision. Thank you, sir, for setting high expectations for our students and educators. As a principal, you have shaped the conditions for our faculty and students to learn and succeed. We are forever grateful for your impact on this college. Thank you so much, sir. You are an inspiration to all of us. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for uh, giving a brief introduction about our beloved principal, sir. Now I request our principal, sir, to address the gathering. Thank you, Miss uh, Dibya and uh, Kirtana, for a very brief introduction about me. And first of all, uh, the chairman, uh, Sri M. Lakshman Reddy, sir, and executive director, Sri J. Chandrasekhar Yadav, sir. other management members hod of ec department uh, no dr hari krishna and convener dr anand and co convener dr joel joseph and all the coordinators and uh, chief guest of today's uh, program this international conference dr shakti swarup jayabalan uh, from brown university usa and uh, invited guest hod's deans student of this department internationally advisory board member national advisory board member media friends last but not the least participant across the globe a very good morning to all of you i am dr santosh kumar patra principal of st martin engineering college whole heartedly i would like to welcome you all to this two days online international conference titled as smart modernistic in electronics and communication which is scheduled for two days today and tomorrow so today we will have the inauguration followed with the parallel session presentation and tomorrow also sessions are already planned so at the outset first i would like to extend my greetings and thankfulness to our chief guest of today's program dr shakti because we know very well how the academicians are busy and those who are working on different domain like as an academician and also taking care of the research portfolio they are it is something like 24 into 7 they were busy so we are really thankful to dr 
So I request all of you to put your mic in mute, please. So uh, I extend my greetings on behalf of me, on behalf of St. Martin, on behalf of management. Uh, and also we would like to thankful to you because within a very small span of notice, uh, you have uh, given your consent to be the chief guest of the program and we look forward to listen from you about the updates and practices and what is happening in the industry and in academia. At the outset, I would like to extend my uh, congratulations to the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, particularly to Dr. Hari Krishna, Dr. Anand and uh, Dr. Joel Joseph, because this is something uh, no dream come reality just uh, two two and a half months before we scheduled and we felt we decided to have an international conference for the benefit of the society and uh, really kudos to the entire department with a small span of time span you have disseminated the information to all the researcher all the academicians and all the students and you could able to attract good number of papers and i am very happy to know that around 120 papers have been registered and they are going to present their research work today and tomorrow so and as already dr hari krishna has told in this pandemic uh, there are so many events which are all organized i think ec department this is this might be the 15th or 16th event what they were organizing and i have witnessed all the past 15 events were grand success so i wish this international conference would be also a grand success and a memorable one so i would like to extend my appreciation and happiness to the hod dr hari krishna and uh, convener co-convener and all the staff member who worked day and night and brought this idea into reality and finally i would like to congratulate all the participant because there are three types of benefits you are going to get out of this uh, international conference. One is what as already Dr. Hari Krishna already told to you, it has gone through a scrutiny process and your paper is selected. And once your paper is selected, the first step towards the success you have taken. And today we are going to release the international conference proceeding with an ISBN number which will be available for you to download soon after completion of the conference. So your paper is already considered for publishing into the international conference proceeding. This is the you know, second benefit what you are going to get. And third thing is all the accepted papers has been considered to publish in UGC care or Scopus index journal and free of cost. So that is why I request all the participants after soon after completion of the conferences, please extend your cooperation to our team so that your paper can be published at the earliest because there might be the necessity of little content correction. There might be necessity of some data modification. All these things need to be given due respect. So once these are all things are done at the earliest, it can be published free of cost. And the third biggest benefit is what you are going to present your work in front of the experts. So you are going to get the input which will nurture your skill set and which will help you to uplift your work and refine your work and do it in a better way. So no, all these participants, a big round of congratulation for all the benefits what you are going to get today. And the finally, uh, before I conclude, <coughs> before I conclude, uh, so I would like to discuss something about the title Smart Modernistic in Electronics and Communication. See, nowadays everything is becoming smart. See, the traditional way of working is not at all happening. So everything is becoming uh, more smart and smart nowadays. And uh, thanks to the all the electronics and communication engineers, because of all of you, even though it was a great pandemic from March 2020, we could able to sustain, we could able to continue our teaching learning processes, all the other traditional works by using all the electronic gadgets, whatever all you have given to uh, all of us in the form of a mankind. It could be an example of laptop, it could be an example of uh, the smartphone, and it could be the example of Wi-Fi access routers and many communication tools and devices. Because of that, today that is the soul, that is the need of the hour. Because of that, we could able to continue all the works. 
and when the topic comes about the smart and modernistic the electronics department has grown in a multifolded way it has not left its presence in any in any area you take the example of education industry you take the example of banking you take the example of manufacturing you take the example of production supply chain iot what not everywhere the existence and the growth of electronics and communication engineers are very high and every day it is all coming out with new new technology and so recently i was reading some of the articles and all and i was surprised whether it is these are all called technology or these are all called magics so these are all things are happening just to narrate few of that recently i was reading one article where i could able to i, I could able to know that no there are some mobile chargers are available which is very much portable foldable and it is a wireless charger it is just looking like a small piece of paper and just on top of it we have to just keep our mobile phone and automatically by using some turbo charging technology and all within 10 minutes of time the mobile will be fully charged so and second thing i came to know about nowadays the lot of hard work is going on to bring out a concept called flexible silicon for flexible electronics so now they were planning to have the flexible silicons for the electronics gadgets and there are lenses which will focus like the human eyes how the human eyes focus on that and there are lenses electronics lenses where it will focus like human eyes and recently i read one article and there was a and the advertisement also i could able to see uh, there was a girl who will be you not know, just folding the tv how normally we fold the mat we roll it we roll the mat and we just keep keep it beneath the table or at the corner of the house so similarly one 6 into 4 square feet tv was there and it was exactly folded like as of we are folding our mat and it was kept wherever it is required and when i was looking into the technology i am really impressed there is a concept called ultra thin and flexible uh, willow glass it is not a hard glass it is a very flexible willow glass by using that the tv itself was built so which is you know really a great innovation by all the electronics engineers and the cre the credit goes to all of you who are all you uh, know doing your research work and uh, doing pursuing your education in this domain and the list go on there are many innovations and there are many uh, creativity which are all available so with this you know small note i would like to wish all of you uh, all the very best and we want we planned this international conference 3 months before and we were not sure that you no know, how the situation will be so that is why it was planned in a online mode however i wish and pray to god next international conference we should have and god should permit us to conduct in a offline mode so that there will be an opportunity for me also to invite all of you to this no beautiful city in india that is hyderabad and we can spend some time together and we can exchange our knowledge whatever we were having for the growth of the society so thanks for listening to me thanks for opportunity and wish you all the very best and have a great day ahead thank you